Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, as always, for tuning in to Public Freakouts Unleashed. We have a horrendous show for you today, starting with a classic Karen here who thinks she's entitled to leave her dog poop lying around the neighborhood without bothering to clean it up, which automatically makes you wrong no matter what. Our main character, whose front lawn has been repeatedly victimized by canine feces, decides today's the day to say something. So I'm currently sitting in my car waiting for this lady to come back because why this lady be walking her dog? She always leave the dog shite in my yard. Hey, excuse me. Hey. Hey. Didn't I ask you not to do that before? What? Didn't I ask you not to quit leave your dog stuff right there before? In my that yard? That is the community grass. And That's not beside the sidewalk. I'm sorry if you don't like it there for like the 15 minutes that it's there. But why are you leaving it in my yard? Because it's where the dog will poop. I'm not carrying it. Why? Why you can't carry it with here. you? Huh? Why can't you carry it with you? Because I don't want to smell it. You're not going to smell it. It's fresh air all out here. You're walking is down here. Are you putting it by your nose? I smell it. It's fresh poop. But I asked you already one other time not to leave it in my yard. And you say you wouldn't leave it in my yard anymore. I don't leave it over there. I leave it over this there. This is all a part of my yard. I'm sorry that you feel that way. Yeah, okay. so don't let it happen again. Spirit Airlines may be the worst airline in America, perhaps the known world, but even the Spirit employees have caught the boldness bug that's going around among airline and airport staff lately. What do you think? Was kicking this lady off of her flight an overreaction? Pass. Show me your point of pass. All right, so this spirit employee was very offended because this lady said something rude to her. I think she's taking a little too far, though. I think she's going to prevent her from being on the plane, which I think is a, I think it's a little bit of an abuse. I want to see the boarding pass. I will not miss my flight because of I think you're, you're just taking a little too extreme. <gasps> oh. Wow, what did you say to her? She's very upset. Wow. Wow. I don't know, I'm guessing that, oh, she said two at the end? Oh, that means that she said it to her first. Oh, okay, well, good. Well, there you go. This antagonist was apparently feeling pretty tough this day, though if you look closely, he's shaking like a leaf. And there was a whole backstory and crazy conclusion to this whole debacle. The guy has been found. Uh, so we'll get a reckoning on that for Monday. Oh, and keep in mind, this guy doesn't work here, like, at all. Go ahead, lay your hand. Lay your hand on me. Lay your hand. Lay your hand. See what happens. Lay your hand. Oh, yes. Tell him ask him. Lay your hand. Get the f out of my store. That ain't your store, bitch. <laughs> Dakota, please don't. We're about to have a baby. Hey, it ain't gonna be my problem if he lays hands on me in self-defense, so that's perfectly fine. Yeah, you can get your ass kicked. Well, you could try. Get out of my store. You ain't gonna do shit. Wow, there you go. Oh. Big man. Big man. Bye, sluts. Big man. It may be tempting to call this next woman a Karen, but let's be real, we all know that Popeyes is stingy as hell with those sauces. If I spend my money, I need to give what the f I deserve. Yeah, hey, I'll call you back now. Look, <laughs> sorry <laughs> ass, bitch go trap. Hold That's what I'm trying to find sauce. out. Is, your, is this sauce coming out your pocket? Hell no. Do y'all got more of this sauce laying around? Cause I'm looking at a shitload. The little sorry ass bitch in tribe dude okay. told me y'all didn't have any more sauce. I'm talking to that bitch right there, yes. <laughs> bitch wants to tell me if there was no more sauce, and I'm looking at a shitload of sauce. You trifling patty bitch. No. That don't make no sense. I ordered, I spent my money, I still had to get more than one sauce. Can somebody give me some sauce, please? Yes, I can. Thank you, boo. Next up, a devastating voice crack at the golf course. Walk up all game. Oh, you. What are you? 
Guys. No. Hey, which one of you walked up? Bro, no, no, which no, one no, of you walked sir, up? Hey, you hey. walk up? No. Walk up. Walk up. This video has already been deleted by the OP, you won't find it on her TikTok page anymore, but she caught an absolutely outrageous, and I verified this, not at all fake, phone call with her manager at the Orange Theory Fitness that she works at, or used to work at. Apparently she was applying to another location, and her current manager went out of his way to sabotage the hiring process at the other location, which is a huge no-no. Uh, the way he went about this and appears to have literally called her to brag about making sure she couldn't get the job. Important to note for those who may not know, the Orange Theory Fitness is a boutique gym franchise and each location is owned by a different owner and considered its own standalone business. Hi, good afternoon, Amelia. How are you doing? Good, how are you? No. So, I... I promised you I would call Anita Cacho, so uh, you probably got your offer rescinded uh, at this point. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, OTF USF is going to rescind their offer to you. Um, I don't know why you took this approach in terms of not being honest, uh, but it was your choice because I told you I would communicate with the studio. Don't know if you didn't think I would follow through on that or why, why, why that was lost in all this. But I did speak to the owner of the studio and she's reassured me that you know, will not be employed at OTF USF come Monday, April 8th. Okay. So I'm, I'm assuming your resignation still stands in place or would you like to resend your resignation as well? You know, can I um, think on it? Because I wasn't... Um... There, there's nothing, to, there's really nothing to think about here, Amelia. Okay, Honestly, then, then no, no, thank you. Okay, so they, they, they will not be hiring... I'm making that clear. And I, I hear you. Yes. Yes, I'm very aware. I'd rather, I hear you. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm telling Anita that at minimum, you are not releasable from OTF West Chase at this point. So interpret that as you want, but I know you have a 4 p.m. Uh, interview with the owner as well, but I will be clear with the owner that they're not to hire you. Yeah, no worries. That's fine. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one. So it's been a while since we had an angry dad flipping out at a ref video, and despite backwards hat dad trying to keep the peace, the ref that dad was calling out wasn't exactly helping. Like, you can't send people to jail, man. That's definitely outside of the scope of your power as a referee of a children's sporting event. Sorry. You want me to stand up? Hey. I want to know your name. My name is, I was sitting here and okay. I called you on a bad call. Hey, 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 hey. You're leaving hey, a call hey, here. Hey, and then hey, you came over on, here and hey, told me hey, I gotta hey, leave. Hey, yes, yeah, you're leaving. I'm just please, go outside where we can finish Sorry, the game. Just I need you to just go outside the fence, please. I mean, you know that's crazy. I know, crazy. I know, I know but it's, it's happened to me. Go to the back. Just please it's go outside the fence. It's 40 seconds. I'm right here, bro. No, if you step over here, you're going to jail. Please. Oh, bro. Bro. You got called on the back. No, I'm doing my job. No, you're not doing your job. Your job is to referee this game. Not the. Get out! Mm. 
Coach, I want to know his name. I want to know his name. I'll tell you my name. Hold on. I'll tell you my name. Okay. Oh, really? That's right. We put up with this kind of crap every game, and we're not going to put up with it. This woman has a perfectly reasonable concern, an insane looking guy who seems hellbent on exposing his midriff for some reason, is filming her kids out in public. She obviously thought that was weird and inappropriate, and as any reasonably attentive parent would do, called him out on it. Is there a law against it? No, but you're not okay. going to film my children! Okay, if I shouldn't do it, there should be a law against it. Don't film my children, sir. Call the law. You want to call them? I'm uh, sure. Well, there's not a law against it. No, you guess what they're going to tell you? You need to go. You need to go. You're in public. Go. You're in public. My children are here, sir. You're in public. But I why are you filming children? Why are you filming children? I wanted to see him go down the hill, that little guy. Right, and you can watch him without filming him. This clip from Onia Baby was a catastrophic and insane fight that broke out between her, her mom, and her mom's boyfriend, who she very clearly does not get along with. You living in a drama and you can't face reality. Don't touch my mom! You need to be committed. You need to be put in a hospital. Go ahead! You know who needs to be put in a hospital? You with your alcohol problem and your wheelies in! Call the police! I don't need to be around this mental institution. <laughs> Shut up! Good! Good! Yeah, you you out of your mind. Thank you. Thank you. Call them. I'm, I'm calling them. I'm calling 911 right now. Go ahead. Oh, this is what you wanted, Mom. Speak up, Rebecca. Speak up. <laughs> Speak up, Rebecca. Speak up. Sit silent. I'm a mental a patient. Speak up. I will not stoop to your level. You are <laughs> unbelievably My unreasonable. Yeah. There's something up there that I don't understand. Really? You know what, but I don't care. That's funny. You don't Just care? Don't, look, you couldn't make it in L.A. My God! That knocked off of your Good, Mom. resume. Good, Mom. Get the Good, Mom. Get the Good, Mom. 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 Child. Yeah, that, I'm acting no, just, no, I'm no. acting just like Michael. you. You Good. talk about acting like a child? Good. You are a child. I'm yes, yes, yes. you get to grow up. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Joanne, I'm calling the cops. Please call the cops. Please call them. Michael, what else is? This is what you wanted, Mom. You say you keep your mouth shut. You done. You're done with what? This is what you asked me to, to do. Michael. We voluntarily yes, want you and our wife. Here she goes, sorry. This Go! Is, this Go. is not one more time. It's my house, I live here. No, no I no. live here. It is not your house. <laughs> what, is what are you, seven? Are you serious? How old are you, Rebecca? <laughs> is this funny to you? Because I'm not laughing. <laughs> Rebecca, you don't show your age in any regard. Okay, I didn't make well, it in LA. Accomplishments? Or getting up, getting your ass out of the bed in the morning, okay, and doing something. Okay, for yourself. all right. You don't do anything. Okay, I don't do anything. Thank you. You're not my dad, and your kids don't come around. So evidently, your kids don't like you either. Go downstairs. You get the f outside. Oh, good. You want me to do this outside? I'm done with both of you. I did not do anything in this oh, situation. You did not do anything. You asked me to do this. You, you said speak what? up. He you said speak up. All over the place. You said speak up. I'm a failure. I didn't do anything in LA. I'm in a mental hospital. Get the f out. Oh, now, I'm, I'm going to leave. You fought this here. I'm going to leave. Come on. Man. I didn't do anything. I understand. I'm okay. Come on. He told me I'm a failure. I didn't do anything in LA. I'm not my, I don't act in my own age. I'm a loser. I'll never amount to anything. He's calling the cops on me. Haha, <laughs> this is in my house. So it doesn't matter. All right. He pushed my mom all around. All right, let's just back up. I'm not leaving. I don't have any of my stuff. All right, we'll take your stuff. 
Go get your stuff. We'll get your stuff. We'll get your stuff. This is what she wanted. She pushed it on stop. me. No, look at this. She no. said, this is Becca. what she said. Becca. She said, you never say anything. Go ahead, say something. You never say anything. Go ahead, say something. Everybody says, well, I'm not just going to say anything back. Why don't you say anything back? Because I failed in LA. I'll never do anything with my life. I have mental head. I belong in a hospital. Becca. 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 <laughs> you like hearing that? Becca. That's what you're going to marry? Becca, stop. Enough. Enough. Let's go back. Let's Come on. Come on. I wish he would have put his hands on me. From my sisters. Talk about having no soul. This goblin of a man took it upon himself to destroy our main characters. I kid you not. Memorial for their friend, saying the flowers and memorabilia left in remembrance was, quote, a pile of garbage. Why someone would be so pressed as this about something so trivial and with such a personal meaning to our main character and our friend here is beyond me. It's not. I don't care. Put it down. Because guess what? Now we got your face, we'll call the cops and they'll come and arrest you for stealing. For stealing what? You abandoned, they know it was abandoned it's here. garbage. No, they know it's, abandoned it's here. abandoned garbage. The cops know it's here. It's abandoned no, garbage. No, it's not. It's abandoned what the what is it bothering you, huh? It's abandoned What's it garbage. bothering you? I don't want this pile of shit every time it's we not come shit. into our neighborhood. It's not shit. Yes, it is. It's not. Okay, so if this is a problem, what about the one down the street? I huh? don't live down it there. It doesn't matter. I don't live down there. Put it down. I don't want your Put garbage pile. Put it down. It's not your shit to take. Put it down. Thank you. I don't want your garbage pile. It's not Take your garbage pile. Goodbye. Go to your go to Goodbye. the cemetery. Go Goodbye. to the cemetery. Go Goodbye. put flowers at the cemetery. Goodbye. Go down to the hospital. Goodbye. I don't care. This isn't for you. Goodbye. It's Goodbye. not your property. And it's not yours either. It's, it's not yours state. either. You call the police district. They're fine with it. If you got an issue, call them. I will. All right, Goodbye. go ahead. Call them. Go ahead. And we'll because they know. For the SWAT to pull, or for the, SWAT. For the unit to pull up. SWAT. We'll wait for the unit to pull up. Go pause. You can't call them. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. It's not a pile of garbage. It's for our friend. It's a go pile call them. It's, it's not. It's Goodbye. It's a pile of garbage, but it's not to us. So if we were doing it on your property, you got to say, but you don't. You don't. The state does. So if you got a problem with it, call the 8th district and ask for Chris. Because that's why I spoke to you this morning. All right, I will. Go ahead. Go ahead. We have some more security guard cringe for you today, which I was very excited to stumble upon. TikTok user Brennan meets a handsy security guard who jumps the gun, accusing our main character of theft. Unlike our last video, the other customers stood up for this guy, very vocally actually, and he decided to go scorched earth, making a scene until they take over. I'm glad you're recording. Don't touch me. Move. Don't touch I, me. I'm, a, I'm an other police officer. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, sir. Bye. Get your manager. She's a manager. Get your manager. What happened? You didn't pay. Show me I didn't pay. It's right there. What's right there? My receipt that I paid? Yeah, it wasn't completed. Yes, it was. It wasn't. How? If I left. I saw it. With my own two how? eyes. How? How? Yeah. Explain to me how said, it wasn't completed. It wasn't if completed. I've completed. already left and it was already yeah, paid. It wasn't how? Paid. Explain it I'm to me. You put your hands on I me. Did. How? I did. It literally said thank you for traveling. How? No, after I left. No. After I told him. How? To you don't have to be in my face like no. that. No. You pushed me. Yeah. I know I did. Get your manager. She's right there. Get your boss. Yeah. Put right your there. hands on me. And I pay for my shit? Right. You f up. I didn't f up. I'm and you kidding. know it. Bro, I There's no reason why I cannot have my pay if I already left. You f up. No. You f up. You f up. I'm looking at the machine. I'm looking at the machine. And that's a procedure. You know that. You could have checked before. So he is in his right to be this upset because I know, you have that's no right. I'm looking at the machine, so bro. Can you apologize first? Said, before of all, Apologize? I could apologize. Yeah. Can you apologize right now? Though? I have my right, which is I'm saying. Are you I, saw, I, I don't hear you. I don't need to apologize yet. just because you're forcing me to. Bro, you you just did something wrong. You know. I saw the machine and it said the 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 pin what is incomplete. Like, because when I when I saw you, out. I looked right here and it said thank you for shopping with us. Pay now. You could I'm have come like, and hey, checked before doing that. I'm looking you at the no machine, wrong, bro. And I like, I, is anyway, the manager gonna right do there. anything about it? She's right there, bro. 
Exactly. She's right there. Yeah. Like we were all here and we saw it. I and you're still not apologizing. That's the problem. It's you're still. Problem. Why is that a problem? You did something wrong. When people do something wrong, they apologize. That's how life is. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. And put we his hands back. on him. Yes. Yeah. 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 I know. I, yeah. I understand that. We came back and now I have the receipt. That's fine. And I'm you're sorry. Still not apologizing. But I initially, I saw the machine and I said, hey, let's security. go back. You're not allowed to no, he's not. At he's all. not. You're not supposed to touch he's anybody, not. so you're dead. Why are you going to call the cops on you? Yeah. That's you fine. Him. That's fine. You can't. So you're not going to apologize? You're just okay with doing that? I just told him that. What? You, you said that? What? I didn't hear apologizing. Initially, we saw the machine. I want his manager. I want, I want his boss, man. That's fine. No, he should give his name and complain to his security company. You can talk to Sean. He's the, uh, he's right below the He's right there. Sean is right there. Sean is right there. Okay, and what are you going to do about it? Are you the manager? Hi. Give me my receipt. My receipt's right here. That's fine. You're, you're good. good no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. It's fast. I'm good. The man put his hands on me. He uh, snatched my food on my hands. And he hands. does not want to apologize for it. He did it right in front of us, in front of kids. Well, let me. You yeah, no, call like, Kevin up, right? I feel like we should do something about it. Oh, I'm calling my boss up, right? No, yeah, you should. You literally still have to pay me, ma'am. I am not paying. No, like literally. Do you not realize though that I you gave me? me to my car. I am, cause how are you? You're teaching your daughter this right now. I Dude, your hair is down to your butt. How do you not expect it to be over? Uh, Are you kidding? Right okay, that's fine. Okay, Got your car and everything. So what? So what? I won't. Yes. I won't. I absolutely will not lower my voice because you're not my mother. No, but I can kick you out the store. Well, go ahead. Who you want here? Me or Walmart? Yeah. Come on, sweetheart. You are? Right? Yeah, I'm good. You guys don't need yeah. it. Yeah. I'm good. All I ask is to let me out. That's all I ask. Right there. Okay. Thanks. I'm sorry, baby. I appreciate the de-escalation, sir. <laughs> Can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? I Can didn't I help say you? Anything to you? No, you looked at me. I'm looking at the car. No, you looked at me. I'm looking at the car. Get out my face. Get out my face. My, what? My first caring, bro. I know. I'm part of Walmart security. Okay, look get out my face. <laughs> don't ma'am me. She made the best out of You don't know what There's so much room, bro. Literally, we got the car right here. You should hit her car. I got my baby in here. Get my plates. Get my plates. Oh, I will. You need a. You need to go on a diet. Is what you need to do. You need a. You need to go on a diet. Is what you need to do. Yeah, I know. I know. You need to go on a diet. 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 I can go on a diet. Diet. No, you can't. No, you can't. You the white privilege days are over. They're not listening. You're, you're under you're under sanction under the government just like everybody else. That white privilege days is over. Our next main character was a tea drinking bystander, not an active participant, but this Southwest flight came complete with two cliches, a hysterical, obnoxiously loud baby that won't stop crying, and an angry old man to complain about it. No, let's be rational. Hold on, hold on. You wanna be rational? No, 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 no. Don't tell me what the Let's be rational. We are in, we are in a 10K with a baby in a goddamn okay. echo chamber, yeah. and you want to talk to me about being okay? Okay, because you're yelling. So That's is the baby. baby. Okay, so you're a man. Did that pay extra to you? Okay, no. So, so, oh, oh, you know. would shut up. No. Just start to me now. I don't give a. <laughs> you were, you were sitting there watching that baby cry before the okay. Okay. This okay. shit didn't have nothing to do okay. with nothing. Lower your okay. voice. Lower that baby's voice. He's an asshole. No, okay. okay. He's an asshole. Okay. He's an asshole. Okay. He's an asshole. 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 He's I've always thought there were few worse fates than having to drive around New York City every day. It's no wonder that people are so angry over there, especially if, like this lady, you've got a meeting to go to. 
I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. You gonna touch a woman? Are you serious right now? I am serious, actually. Are you gonna hit a woman? Yeah, you know what? Right now. You're breaking the law. Yeah, you know what? Don't, don't, don't. I know it's not. It's worth it. this, as you can tell by the wall of text that OP included, is extensive. But to avoid a long-winded rehashing of that information, you can just pause it. Essentially, this woman is a social worker whose daughter was let go from her job at this main character's business. She comes in to confront her over it, and this is the insane altercation that occurs. Okay. I got a picture of it and I'll send it to the work study teacher. No, no, you need to sign it right here. She needs it to be signed. I'll get it to the work study teacher. No, it needs to be signed. Once it's reviewed it by Mr. Warren, to it'll be signed. signed. It needs to be signed. You've always signed them. There's Once no I difference today. Once I can review it, There's I'll no sign difference it. today. It needs to be signed like you always have. Nothing should change. Get it signed into the teacher. It needs to be signed. An original wet signature. Is that okay. something that you can't understand? We're gonna get it. No, no. It needs to be signed. I don't think you understand. Wet signature, piece of paper. All it takes is your signature on a piece on a pen with a pen. Okay, we'll get it signed into the teacher and review. We will. We always do, and we will. I don't trust you when you can't even. If you can't even face my daughter and fire her in her person, right you, you couldn't even face her. You didn't have balls to, to face her and tell her you were firing her because you were chicken shit. Couldn't, ima couldn't admit that you were wrong and that you wanted to be a passive aggressive bitch and you wanted to bully an 18 year old sweet girl. She's very sweet. Yes, but you didn't have balls to admit that you were wrong. She's but you asked her about sweet. Wednesday, scheduled her for Tuesday, when Tuesday was never a discussion because she's never been able to work on Tuesdays. You assumed, very you assumed that you could just schedule her whenever because she was on spring break. No. I hope you guys realize what a passive aggressive bitch you're dealing with because she used to talk shit about you, Holly, all the time, how crappy you were, how you couldn't do the ice cream. But then the minute really? she's the minute she's mad at Kaylani, she wants to praise you. Just let you know. I hope you feel good about yourself. Bullying Never have an done 18 that. year old, sweet 18 year old girl. Never have done that. I hope you that. feel good about it. Never Karma's have done a that. Bitch. Never have done that. Karma's a bitch. Never have done I that. Never have done that. Heart palpitations go well for you because Karma's a bitch. Let's go, Kim. Someone who lives in the same apartment complex as OP here uh, decided to take her laundry out of the communal laundry uh, uh, washer and put it into the dryer with someone else's clothes, which is obviously something you don't do if you have even the most basic sense of common decency and decorum. Yeah, no, I don't, um, so Excuse me. Are actually on top of the machine. Yeah, okay, welcome back. But are you the one who moved my stuff? Yeah, I've had my stuff moved before. I'm okay, sorry. but you put my stuff in a dryer with someone else's All clothes. Right, okay. You're talking about you had your shit moved before? I don't know nothing about that. That has nothing to do with me. If you had a problem with someone moving your stuff, you should have waited to confront them the way that I've waited for you to confront you. But I'm pretty sure, because I moved your shit two hours ago and you're just now coming to check on it, so you probably weren't here fast enough, A. 
B, I'm sure if someone moved your shit, they didn't put it in a dryer with someone else's stuff. Like common sense, if you must move someone's stuff, at least put it on top of the dryer. People with normal decorum and decency, that's what they would do. Who raised you? Like the fact that I have to stand here and tell you this is blowing me. That's common sense. It's less than 10 minutes late. So like that's kind of ridiculous and it's really dirty. So if you could not do that, that would be great. This guy looks an awful lot like our uh, now very famous uh, security guard from My Last Reckoning, but is shockingly a real cop. He's even got the audacity to rock this Punisher flag. Very cringe. Anyway, it appears that this might be a vendetta police stop as there has been some history between this two, but the other officer also seems to think our main character was speeding, so who knows? Can I help you? Why are you pulling me over? So put your car and drive. It's in park. Okay, put it How in park. How can I help you? You have No. Yeah, you're no. not you're not in control of him. Show me your driver's license. No, sir. Yeah. Why? Yeah, you are gonna show me your Why do I need to show you my license? Make sure you have a valid license. Why am I being pulled to... over, sir? Quit interrupting. This is going live you. right now. Okay. You are that's being fine. why am so I... are you? You're being recorded. Why am I Passenger, getting pulled over? Provide your driver's license to me. Or put you it don't on need the window. To. I'm not talking to you. You don't need Passenger. to. Passenger. Roll your window down. No. He Roll your window to. down. He doesn't need to, sir. I'm not talking to you. Okay? He does not need to. I'm not talking to you. He does not. Please call your supervisor right now. He's here. Where is he? He's here. Please identify yourself, your badge number. He's here. Where is he? Sir, please, can I talk to you over here? Are you the same guy that showed up to my house where your son hit my vehicle? I don't you tell me. I don't know anything about that. You don't? You're on camera at my house, knocking on the door, saying your son hit my vehicle. Okay. Is that you? What's your you, name? You tell me. Identify. Are you Clay Clay Michael Saunders? I'm Detective, Detective Saunders. Detective Saunders? That's correct. Okay. You have a, a daughter named Kaylee and a son? Huh? No. What's your son's name? You don't have to worry about that. Okay. Please Show provide your, your supervisor. License. No, sir. Yeah, he's Call here. your supervisor. I just told you he's Sir, here. can I please see you over here? Are you the supervisor? Why am I being pulled over? Yeah, you need to relax. You're being recorded. Am I awesome. being detained? So are you. Am I being detained? Yeah, you're being stopped. Why? You see the lights behind you? It's a Why? traffic stop. Why? Because you're being stopped. Are you a traffic Passenger. police? You need to give your ID no. or else no. it's going to be a different, a different outcome here for no, you. No, it's so not. You need to identify yourself. No, he does not. I'm not talking to you, then, okay? Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Please provide your supervisor here. Who's your supervisor? What's his name? Do I need to call the sheriff's office right now? You're doing something illegal. I know what you are. You're a crooked police officer. Last week or last year, you were reprimanded. Right or wrong? You had a written, written reprimand. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. It's okay. You're being recorded. How many more times are you going to say that? So okay. are you. Call your supervisor. Huh? Am I being detained? Can I go? What was the traffic infraction? Yeah, you can absolutely, you're what was the tra tra you're traffic speeding, infraction? You were failing. I was not speeding. You absolutely were. Where's the radar? Okay, it's in my car. My car's okay. calibrated. Is your car calibrated? Yes, okay. it is. So you're being stopped right now for that traffic okay. violation. You're going to be detained while we conduct this stop. Do you understand? Okay, okay. I'll show you my driver's yeah. license. Thank you. This one's a rare treat. We all know how vicious and hateful geese can be. They're perhaps the most malicious and cunning creatures in the animal kingdom. And this one has hatched a plot to keep our main character from entering his own car. His fear is palpable as he tries to first intimidate and then reason with the hissing monster. Yo, back up. You're not gonna stop me from getting in my car. Back up, yo. Back up. Yo, I'ma stump you down. I'm trying to tell you. I ain't one of them. I just want to get in my car. Move, bro. You're gonna hurt yourself. I'm trying to tell you. You gonna hurt yourself. And it's not even gonna be me, it's gonna be you. Like the world, you weird up. Yo. Yo, I'm about to f this f goose up, and they're gonna call the police on me when I do it. Move, bitch. I'm trying to tell you, bro. <laughs> Y'all about to see animal cruelty. Get your long neck hit ass out of here, you f creep. 
What? What did you want to do in real life? Like, I ain't finna play with you. No, the bird is trying to attack me, and I'm about to have to f him up. I'm trying to tell you. Yes. He's not letting me get in my car. Are you serious? I'm being dead serious, and I'm trying not to go to jail for animal problem. If he touch you, I'm a I'm going to try and tell you. What's wrong? Oh, he's the one with the baby. Yes. His mom is over there. I mean, the mom is over there. Way over there. Don't nobody worry about her. I could just... Don't go. I'll just back up and beat that up. Wait, which one's your car? Right here. Okay, just wait a minute, Tony. Don't even go over there. Wait, he's wait. tripping. I'm telling you. Tony, stop. He touched me. He's done. Bro, you don't want this type of smoke, little cousin. Kind of a loose fit here because it isn't public, but this is such a fascinating video and it speaks to human decency, which we need occasionally on this channel. Basically this troubled young man, and we aren't sure what's going on with him, if it's uh, substances or something else. Sounds like he might need medication for something and has been to a psych hospital before, but he keeps breaking into this woman's house, our main character, and hiding there. Keep in mind, he doesn't know this woman, he doesn't steal anything, he doesn't have malicious intent, and lives a few houses down from her neighborhood. Instead of approaching this like most people would, however, we get a masterclass in compassion and human decency. You came here, you said, because Gucci Mane and Wiz Khalifa were having a party. Know. What are you here now? Why did I come in my house and you're in here? Because I am under a lot of magic right now. Say, man, look, I could you right now. It's your second time coming in here. I know. Why do you feel like it's free to keep breaking in my house? Huh? I mean, you can do whatever you want with me. I'm dead serious. I will, like, get on my knees and pretty much say... That I am under so much. Do you live in this neighborhood? Yes, I live four houses down. Why were you just sitting in the restroom? Because I was so scared of somebody trying to kill me, dude. My own brother busted through my door with a screwdriver and literally was going ape shit. That I wasn't taking my meds, and that I was staying up late, and he was scared. I thought when they took you, the police took you last time you were in the hospital. And they said you were going to be going away for a while. When did they release you? Uh, pretty much like a week ago or something. And you want to come up in here? Why do you keep wanting to come here? Dude, I'm scared. I was getting... Why do you keep wanting to there come somebody... here? somebody... Why do you keep wanting to come here? This place is safe. We're serious. Give me a hug. Next up, is it just me or are the police getting sassier? This is the state police. You are being pulled over. Hence the lights and the siren and the loud noises. One second. Grab your driver's license for me so we can have a conversation. Yeah, let's stop moving around. It's a good idea, right? Just stop moving around. It's a good idea. Our final main character, in between comparing background checks she's passed with her hostile neighbor, is taking part in a rowdy confrontation in this mobile home park with a family who she believes have been treating their dogs inhumanely. If the way she characterizes their treatment of these dogs is accurate, I'm inclined to agree. Right now, is there a problem? Right now, go! No! Right now, Don't go! Don't be walking in! Go! We have a right. We keep our dogs on leashes. One is highly trained. You want to settle it? Settle it. Would you stop going on the road? That's totally illegal. I had no idea who dog it was. No, I'm 58 years old. Don't disrespect me. Stop. Ain't nobody was. Why don't everybody stop? Stop telling her to run her mouth. I'm 58 years old. You got me. I can Go. pass a background check Go. worldwide. Go. Go. Oh, really? Go. Go. Would you go? No, I'm not. Yes, you need to. She's still coming. She's still coming. But the dog, I didn't know what this dog was. Mine went to run to her. Normally mine stays right with me. But it was out there by itself. Nobody around. Leaving a dog outside, no water, no food, no shelter, 12 to 15 hours a day is 
illegal, inhumane. You bitch, you destroyed a trailer on the other side. The only reason why you're here is because you're kids. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. I don't know who said it. Let your brothers handle it. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. You can't not warm it up for anything. If you don't live here, shut the f up. If you do not live here, have a lease to be here, shut the f up. Yes, sir, Go. She